Hi, Mr. Young here. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you've used PowerPoint in the past, you've worked out that if you select Design, you can opt for some of these Microsoft pre-done designs for you. Now, the thing is, actually, for this project, you're not allowed to do that. You've got to have gone and looked at other interactive websites, sat down and planned your own look and feel, and then you need to make it happen. Let me show you how. So we create a new blank PowerPoint and we come across to view and we use a very powerful feature which is Slide Master. Now be careful because Slide Master normally takes you to this one here. You need to go to the number one slide, click on it, make sure it's yellow. Now watch this. If I go insert, shape, rectangle, just going to draw a blue line here, blue box there. Now watch. View. Normal. If I now create new slides, can you see that each and every one of them has got the default master slide blue box? Now I'm not sure you should, but supposing you want the rest of the slide to be a bright yellow. Come up to View. Select Slide Master. Make sure you've selected number one. Insert, shape, rectangle. Drag this out. Now if you just right click inside the box, I'm not saying you should do this at home, but bright yellow, view, normal. Now suppose I want to picture in on every single slide. Again, view, slide master, select number one, insert, picture, here's my avatar, click on that, insert, position it, view normal. Can you see there's this uh, rather tasteless picture up on every single slide? Now a word of warning here please. You're creating this interactive multimedia presentation for a purpose and you've also got an audience in mind. So the colours you choose really need to fit your purpose and audience and if you don't I'm afraid that's going to make it very hard for you to get a high grade. So you've made your design, use the slide master view, make it happen. Over to you.